And welcome, everybody. It's great to have you here. My name is Keith Barker. Welcome to the Keith Barker channel here on YouTube. And uh, earlier today, we had a live premiere of a packet tracer lab that involved wireless LAN controllers and troubleshooting and radius and a little tutorial on how to set up a wireless LAN controller. So if you're interested in that, please check out that video. What this video is, this is a spoiler alert. Right after the premiere, we hung out in the Discord server in the chat room for a while, the voice chat, and I asked the question, Here's a, a couple ideas I have. Which one would you like to see? And one of the options that I had him vote on was, how about a walkthrough? This is a walkthrough of the troubleshooting lab. So spoiler alert, if you want to do the lab and you don't want to see the problems, you want to work on yourself, pause me right now, stop me, and then work on the lab and then come back to this video after you've had the chance to do the troubleshooting yourself. So without further ado, let me bring over to my desktop. And this is the KeithBarker.com. You might ask Keith, why are we here at the KeithBarker.com? This is where you can download the troubleshooting lab. So if we scroll down here, this is the lab right here. Cisco PT troubleshoot WLC and radius. And I, I provided some training in the previous video about how that works, the wireless LAN controller and a AAA server and all the rest. And if you want to try out this lab, download this, get a free uh, account at NetACAD and download Packet Tracer and then use this troubleshooting lab and you're on the way. All right, so I have downloaded that. I have it open and this, last chance, this is the troubleshooting lab. So here we go. The goal is for these wireless clients, these devices, a guest device, an employee device, to be able to hit the website, uh, thekeithbarker.com, which is on the server. All the details are here as well. This is gonna be an abbreviated version just to walk through the solution. And you can watch my other videos in the master playlist to help backfill and train on the various pieces involved. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to Options and Preferences, and I'm gonna state that I want to uh, see the labels, it's important, and the link lights, and I'm gonna start with anything that doesn't look like it's green. So I see here this link on gig one slash zero slash three, is that what it is? Oh no, 13. Gig one slash zero slash 13, going to the wireless LAN controller, is down. I'm gonna to go to the switch, and we're gonna start working there. And let's go to the CLI. I increase the font size on my CLI so it'd be easier to read. And let's do a show interface status. And that says that it's disabled. So we'll go into configuration mode, interface gig 0 slash 13. Make that gig 1 slash 0 slash 13. And we'll do a get up, get up, get up, no shutdown. And then that's great. Let's go take a look at the other. Uh, red lights too. So right here we have red LED next to AP1 and AP2. Click on AP1 and it looks here like there's no power. So this is the little transformer. It needs to be plugged in there. I'm going to just drag and drop that there. Great. That took care of that red light. And on this one, same thing. Basic connectivity. Before we get the wireless all working, make sure things are up and running. Okay. So uh, what's next? Next let's go and take a look at the wireless LAN controller. Actually, you know what we can do? We can hover over these access points and it will show us the wireless networks and also to verify that it has CAPWAP tunnel over to the wireless LAN controller. So it, that says it does. That's great. And it also shows the, get, the guest Wi-Fi, but it doesn't show the uh, corp Wi-Fi. Hmm, which is suspicious. So let's do this. Let's get on this PC right here and let's go open a desktop. I'm just going to do it in the desktop tab, opening up a browser, and we'll go to HTTPS colon whack whack and WLC. On this D on the DNS server, I've got a little record entry for uh, the wireless LAN controllers at 10.30.0.2. WLC is simply the uh, name for it. All right, and we're in. So this is on the controller. We're logged in logically to the controller, or we're about to be. So I'll click login. And the username is admin. The password is capital C I S C O exclamation mark two three. Off to a great start. Don't press enter here because if you do, it'll say bad password. Get to click login instead of pressing enter. So I'm clicking login. And then here's our wireless LAN controller. All right, fantastic. So which is, let me see, which is the X, the wireless LAN? It says that guest Wi Fi is up, but the other one isn't. So I'm going to go verify that both, both, both wireless networks exist. So go back to the PC1 where we're doing our management session over the wireless LAN controller. We'll click on wireless LANs and I see two. I see corp Wi-Fi and guest Wi-Fi, but I also see here that one of them is disabled. 
So we're going to start with the easy stuff and just take stuff that's disabled or shut down and bring it up. So we'll click on that VLAN, that wireless LAN ID. That brings up the details for Corp Wi-Fi. We'll click on the checkbox for enabled. Click on apply. And then we'll uh, just for a moment, just go back here and hover over AP1. And see, now it sees, <laughs> see there, see what it is? So now it sees, it knows about both Wi-Fi networks. The controller is providing all that information to it. And the same is gonna be true on AP2. Just to verify, great. All right. Okay, so why aren't these clients connecting? Um, oh, well, let's start with the guests. I mean, uh, well, we could look at all the details, but let's, let's try to connect. And maybe these PC, these devices are turned off. So let's click on the guest first. And the guest should be accessing via the network called guest Wi-Fi. Okay, and we saw that guest Wi-Fi is an SSID that's being provided, right? Guest Wi-Fi, great. So we'll go back to our guest device, go to config, go to wireless zero, and guest Wi-Fi, just say, oh, uh, well, let's take a look and see what the authentication requirements are for the Wi-Fi network. So we'll go back to our, PC where we're running the, the console, the administrative window for the wireless LAN controller. And let's go to wireless LANs and let's go to the guest Wi-Fi. And we'll click on security. And this says that we're using a pre-shared key. So the pre-shared key I'm using everywhere is capital C, I-S-C-O, exclamation mark, two, three, that's it. And this says that for that Wi-Fi network, the guest Wi-Fi, it's using that password. So if we go back to this guest and look at the wireless interface, it says disabled. So we need to put here WPA2 pre-shared key, which is what we're using. We'll type it in, Cisco, exclamation mark two, three. And then what I found with Packet Tracer, once you uh, are done with a field like that, just hit tab. That takes you out of that field and that should trigger it to become active. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for uh, little radio waves between the guest device and one of the access points. I don't see it. Oh, I, I see another problem. And that is this. On the access points, we can see the Wi-Fi networks. It's guest Wi-Fi, no dash. That's a different SSID. So guest Wi-Fi and this client is going for guest dash Wi-Fi. So I'm going to take out the dash and then I will hit tab to move out of that field. And if that's the only, yay! <sighs> and the crowd goes mild. Fantastic. I'm, I'm excited about that. And from this guest device, let's just go to the desktop and open a browser. And the goal is to get to thekeithbarker.com, which is going to be resolved to a name of the web server, which, which name is going to be resolved to an IP address of the web server. And assuming routing and everything else works, it should come up with my little pseudo homepage, which it does. Great. There's thekeithbarker.com where you can download the PT lab files uh, in, the, uh, in the real world. And then there's ogit.online slash sloth. That's the master playlist on YouTube for CCNA. And then uh, the Discord server link. Great, 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 great. And after the premieres, when they go out live for the first time, uh, you're welcome to join us on Discord. We have a voice chat room. Join us and we have a conversation. Okay, so guest, we're halfway done. Uh, guest device done, authenticated, has an IP address and has reachability to the server. Now what's up with this employee device? Let's click on him or her depending on what the case is there, and config wireless zero. And it says WPA2. All right, well, I see the problem here. He has the wrong Wi-Fi, the wrong SSID again. So on the access points, we hover there. It, the wireless networks are guest dash Wi-Fi, corp Wi-Fi, no dash in between. Let's go fix that. So I'm gonna take out the dash and I'm gonna hit tab. <laughs> and uh, let's see if we have a link here. So he's trying to log on as Bill, Cisco exclamation mark two, three. Let's verify that username, Bill. Uh, mm. Let's go take a look at the controller, back to the PC, and let's verify the details for that wireless network. And here's the Corp Wi-Fi, so we'll select that. And if we go to security, it's stating uh, WPA2 policy, WPA2 encryption, great. 802.1x authentication. So 
that under authentication key management, where it says 802.1x here in this part, that's referring to the fact that we're not using a pre-shared key. We're actually checking the credentials of the user on the AAA server. So let's verify on the AAA server that bill exists. So we'll go to the server and on the server, we go to services. Here's AAA, authentication, authorization, accounting, and I've got a Bob, I've got a Lois, no bill. Hmm, let's create bill. So Bill's gonna be a user here on the AAA server. I'll use Cisco, exclamation mark two, three is the password. I'll add him. So let's go back to the employee device. We've got the correct Wi-Fi name, the correct SSID. Bill exists inside the AAA server. Uh, the wireless LAN controller, let's verify that too. Let's go back to the controller. So this is on the PC to the management interface on the wireless LAN controller. For this corporate Wi-Fi network, uh, it's using 802.1x or for a, a AAA server. Let's verify that the AAA server is correct. Okay, 10.30.0.10. That is the IP address of this AAA server. And port 1812, let's go check that too. So here on the server and under AAA, under services tab, we have bill and we have the wireless LAN controller as a client. That means that this uh, AAA server, this radius server is willing to take requests from that client. If we have the right key and has the right address, that's correct. But what isn't correct I see here is the port. On the wireless LAN controller, it was gonna connect to the server on port 1812. Uh, we can verify that by going back to the wireless LAN controller uh, right here on AAA servers, port 1812. We can also verify that here under security which is where we list our AAA servers. And there's the IP address of our AAA server, there's the port, and that's not the port the server is expecting to talk, to talk on between itself and the wireless LAN controller. So we'll fix that. 6783, what is that? That could be my CCIE number. <laughs> and that's what it is. All right, uh, so we wanna use 1812. And I'll hit tab. And if that's all we need, hey, there's the there's the connector right there. Uh, let's see if we got everything. So I'm going to go ahead and close the server, and the on the employee device, it's got. A, let's do on the employee device. Let's do this. Let's click on the employee device. Uh, here's the details. They seem to all match up. Let's go to desktop, open up a browser, and let's go to thekeithbarker.com, and there it is. So that's this server down here, that means DNS is working, routing is working, uh, the DHCP relay agent, <laughs> which is on the multi-layer switch interfaces is working. Fantastic. All right, uh, short and sweet. In this video, I wanted to give you a walkthrough of several problems, the problems in this troubleshooting lab. If you want to, if you're brand new to studies and you haven't really studied the wireless LAN controller yet, take a look at the previous couple videos I had on wireless LAN controllers including an additional packet tracer lab where you build the whole thing from scratch. And then after you've studied it some more, come back to this lab and in a few weeks, you may forget some of the problems that were there and give it another shot and uh, reinforce those, uh, that practice and that hands-on practice with the gear. I had a great time in chatting with you during this walkthrough or at least walking you through this troubleshooting lab. If you haven't already, I would love for you to become more active with our channel and the Discord server, helping each other with the technologies and techniques in the Cisco CCNA. If you like the video, let other people know, click on the like button, the thumbs up, the other people know this is a video that may be interested in watching. And if you haven't yet, subscribe we encourage you to join there as well it's been uh it's been a fun maybe one of my shortest videos ever <laughs> it's certainly good to have you and i'll catch you in the next live event bye everybody